This is a design of a beetle belt conveyor. Can be retractable. Expansion and retracement method is to use this gas cylinder to realize front and rear push. Then if the tutorial, if this side guide is a linear bearing on both sides, then one of his, one of the dynamics of the strap is to use this engine. Then it's passed through this bevo gear. It's like a structure like that. Actually in the design process, the most important thing is, as our beef rope conveyor belt expands and shrinks, is it prolonged? This is very important. So let's take a look first. Let's take a look at this. At sow belts Russ as we push front and back. He's not going to have this prolonged phenomenon. Okay, actually when he does, we've got to understand a problem with this coil. Let's take a look here. Slightly edit this feature. Here's what we drew. Here, this is the principal strap. So take a look. First, here's our cylinder line pushing forward. When you push forward, so if this BO wire conveyor is pull forward, pull forward as well. BO when pulling, you can see how the beat rope doesn't change in length. It's like a drawer, you know. What is he in this position? It's just a drawer strap. This drawer. If the front pushes straight in, then pull out its length will not change. Okay, let's take a look. When pushing, you can see we're actually pushing this roller, right? Then, if this beef wire conveyor cabinet 7 is folded into the same, only one floor above and one floor below. So after the launch, everyone can see, at that time, my beef belt conveyor. That's right, push this class out. Such a situation is good. So let's look at some of the internal structures. There's some structure inside it. First a situation of it, hide it. All right, all right, here's our waistband, you can see. In fact, when we push out and pull out, this piece is ours, support table. It's a drawer, it goes in. Stop it, everybody in, did you find out? You're back in. It's out, launched. The overall situation is good. We'll do one later when we do it below. One that supports this limb, right? Then make a tutorial. If inside, if the bottom is to make a rubber len, it's okay. Okay, there's a screw in the back. Then behind this side there's a limit. If through this screw you can limit. Then sow when moving before and after. There's also one here and a buffer. You can take a look. There's a cushion here. Below can be limited. So the position of our buffer wire. You can also get a position. That it expands and shrinks. You can position the telescope. What are we doing later? This side of him. General. Well, you have to understand that our rope bite problem. If we bite the rope, let's take a look at the bite. Bite this or something. Bite this roller. There's a roller here. Bite this through this. So let's see if we can bite this. And then this roller is a front and back push and pull roller. You just put it here. Pull it back, right. Has achieved a contraction. Just push it to his side. This is his belt. I will push out will pull out. It's like a drawer, right. Okay, so the way he bites his rope is like this. There's a situation here. People can watch a little bit. Alright, alright. There's only one such situation, right? If we're using statistics relatively speaking, you just need to draw a line of one of its belts is fine. Okay, overall a situation. Thank you for watching.